Hello and welcome to another trip report. Today I'm in Kansai's International Airport and I'll be heading back to Tokyo's Haneda using ANA. Today for this lake I just purchased this a simple economy ticket, so we're going to experience the short haul domestic product of ANA. Right now I'm just in the train station, so let's go upstairs, let's check in, let's get in the terminal. It's a little chilly down here actually. So come along as we go from A to B. Located on a man-made island south of Osaka, Kansai International Airport is easily accessed by rail. Out of the stone-cold train station, I made my way to the second floor of Terminal 1, which is where ANA domestic check-in is located. Check-in can normally be a streamlined process with the kiosks, however, I left my confirmation number back home like a klutz, so I had to pay a visit to the counter, which added a few minutes to the process. Not a huge issue today, but a lesson learned. Given the size of the terminal, it's easy to forget, domestically speaking, that this is a secondary airport for the Kansai area. The majority of ANA, and Japan Airlines for that matter, domestic flights for Osaka are bound for Itami Airport, located in the north end of the city. Up until this point, I still didn't know which exact aircraft I would be on. It appeared with ANA that aircraft changes were a regular occurrence as aircraft were shuffled around due to the pandemic. Nonetheless, with boarding pass in hand, I filmed part of my previous episode and I continued on to my gate. Our gate for today's flight is 19, in the center of the domestic area. Like many airports in Japan, when flying domestically, there's often no hurry to go through security, as there's usually only a handful of shops gateside. So for today's flight, we're flying on the 821 or the 821neo. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I couldn't tell from on the check-in. Uh, they both have the same number of seats, so we'll just have to wait till uh, the plane gets here and we can see what we're kind of at here. So uh, we have about half an hour and then uh, I think it's time to, to start boarding. Soon after, our plane arrived and was quickly turned around. Holding a window seat ticket for the rear of the plane, I was allotted seat 1 for boarding, which allowed me to be one of the first to jump on board. Now usually I'll skip the safety briefing, however ANA took a fabulous, entertaining and artistic take on it. Perhaps it's one of my favorite safety videos I've seen. The behind the scenes is on their in-flight entertainment system, which I admit I watched several times over. As we say sayonara to our lovely ground staff, let's welcome Sasquatch back for another scouting report. Hey Sasquatch here, let's get into that scouting report. ANA's fleet currently consists of 17 of these A321neos. This particular plane is just over two years old, being delivered in August of 2018. These aircraft consist of 194 seats throughout 37 rows in two classes. Yeah, that's right, and the bulk of these seats, 186, are economy with a small two-row business class with eight seats. And of course, if you like checking out the views, be sure to avoid seats 17A and 24K. And like many of the airplanes reviewed in the past, there are three bathrooms. And I think that about covers the scouting report for today. As always, thanks Sasquatch for dropping by. Be sure to visit this channel to see what's happening in the world of Minecraft. Our short and bumpy hop is going to take us along the coast of Honshu and into Haneda. The economy cabin is a clean, updated, and sleek design, with a 3-3 seating configuration with the ANA's blue theme throughout. The blue accents and LED glow under the overhead bins demonstrates a nice attention to detail. Seat back you can expect a coat hook, which came in handy on this chilly January day the large 10-inch screen with USB, headphone jack, and remote sitting below. We'll take a gander at the in-flight entertainment system in a few moments. These folding tables are a personal preference, as they can be used in either position, 
and adds a little wiggle room to your seat. The kettle for the drink is a good idea, however there is a caveat to it. And below we have the three pocket setup with the safety card. Lake space on these aircraft isn't extensive and I think I'm pushing it with my pack sack down there. In hindsight, I should have tossed it above at the start to give myself a bit more space. The seats themselves are simple, basic and comfortable and what you'd expect in economy. You'd be able to close your eyes comfortably on a longer flight and enjoy the rest. ANA's A321s are Wi-Fi enabled and is complimentary on domestic routes. There was no issues connecting to it. The crew did a great and efficient job at offering a drink service on this bouncy flight, and I of course went with a standard coffee. Now one flaw about that coupler is that it is possible for one to accidentally bump the cup from under, leading to an unfavorable situation. The in-flight entertainment system was the fastest and most responsive I've encountered. There were several options including movies, shows, live TV, and cameras, uh, but those weren't much use on this uh, overcast day. The remote itself is nice, but not really necessary in economy. It is just as easy to access the controls from the seat back, with the most essential being the volume and light switch. With these remotes though, I can never get them to retract. It's like starting a damn weed whacker at 35,000 feet. Let's go. You can do it. One more time. Got it. The clean and tidy laboratory is an upgraded version of the one that we saw on the Starflyer flight. In the rear of the aircraft is also one of two small galleys and the plug for the vacuum. On a short flight like this, it's not too long before we start our descent. This flight ended up costing me 12,030 yen, or 86.7% of the cost of a Shinkansen ticket. Once landed, to keep some sense of social distancing, uh, planes are disembarked by several rows at a time, and with me at the back, I just had to wait till the end. All right, so I hope you enjoy that little peek inside, little nibble, little appetizer on a A321 EO. Nice aircraft, I like what they did inside, uh, very enjoyable. So I'll leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around next time.